All right, guys. So it's Goody in the hoodie. I'm back today. Um, I do want some new. I do have some new stuff I want to kind of go for for um JP real quick. And tonight we will start getting the global anniversary stuff, like the gear event. Like we'll start kind of getting that tonight. So tomorrow night we should be getting more info about it. I know Sunday. I know we're supposed to get like the ten about event. Not ten about it. Um, the I'm thinking of JP. Um, for global anyway, we're supposed to get like the four anniversary event. It's probably tomorrow or Sun or Monday mainly, cause like at three o'clock. Cause they do that like what for second year anniversary. They did it for the third year. They gonna let in people in waves and stuff. I will go over that more tonight, cause I know we're gonna get the main info tonight. They did it for um JP. Like they're just gonna like simply just do it over time and time. So just go over Prunga Wish for today. It's super simple. Um, right here is just for the Japanese translation and people really like Japanese. You know, I want to get more cultural, you know, more cultural regions and stuff. Come on. There it goes. Just, you know, a little more cultural reasons and stuff. Again, these are all the wishes. Um, I will probably go all over them. This is how to get all the other wishes as well. I only to speak Japanese and stuff just to make sure to get, you know, more cultural drunk like that. And I'll be racist or nothing. Trust me, I'm not racist! But you know, Bro is Easy A, Physical Bro is Easy A does come out in a few days, so I will kind of like, go over that as well. Like, the next few videos are going to be mainly Duncan related. Because, you know, 40th anniversary, Bro is Easy A, and a whole bunch of other 10 about a crazy stuff. Um, for JP anyway, so this is how the 2019 version. I will gotta, I gotta go back and rename all the videos. For the, so for 2019 Tana Battle, all you gotta do is basically just get um seven blue key spheres or AGL key spheres. That's all you gotta do. You can make the orbs. You can go in like the um. I don't know just any event like that has like seven orbs. Like that's all you gotta get. You would like you would basically turn the whole field blue. Like there's a lot of like nukers and like orb manipulators in the game at this point. So. There should be like a whole bunch of junk. By the way, the um Tanabata banner out for freaking um whatchamacallit for um LR Goten and um Gohan Gohan Goten and Super Saiyan Force are back as well as the first time they are coming back in Joker Fest LRs. They did not put one, they put two, they put fifteen units. They put freaking twenty freaking come on come on 20 freaking feature units i thought it was gonna be like a few units i guess super saiyan for gogeta and omega sharon they're still really good but bruh eventually these omega is gonna get placed he is kind of like going not out of his time but he is slowly kind of like not really aging he still does a lot of damage he's just slowly like you know not doing really any damage nowadays i mean no trust me this omega is great but i feel like he's just gonna get replaced by this omega when he gets his easy a but just a whole bunch of freaking units by the way Whole bunch of freaking units. It should have been just a little bit, but it's like 20 featured units plus like the regular SRs. They don't factor in, but still, I mean, just they're, they're there for forming out super attacks. But freaking, bro, like Tech Bridge has been on every banner. Engine, but I heard his EZA is like the best in the game. I don't know. In my opinion, I feel like Tech Sales is really good, in my opinion. I feel like he has the best EZA because he heals on passive. It does like hega damage. I feel like he has like one of the best EZAs. My opinion can change. But still, in Movies Park, Gohan's good. I mean, we already knew this is going to kind of like happen. But I thought it was gonna be like Super Saiyan 4, you know, GT related, but I mean, it's for GT units in here too. But I'm just saying, it's like fit, like 12 freaking, like 20, I think, feature SSRs. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, it's just, I, I think I count it. I might be wrong, but still, I probably gotta recount. Yeah, this is a, this was a 10 bottom banner last year. You know, a few, you know, you, oh, come on, come on. Just, just go on, just, just, come on. Yeah! Just like last year, it was, you know, pretty simple. A few, you know, it was hard to get. You know, the LRs. I mean, the, I think the rate, I wonder if it's same as last year. Let me check. Um, I think the rate's the same as last Come on. Come on. Get down. I there's more SSRs in here. Are there? Yeah, a few more. 10%. Oh, no, it's different. It's 5% now. Let me make sure I compare that. Let me see. Featured rate. Because getting the Goku was like a 3%. Okay, so okay, the normal rate's five. Okay, it's all five percent. Okay, that's it is a little bit up, but not as much up as I wanted to be. But I mean, it's just, it's just a filler banner to be there. You know, the rates. I mean, it's five percent. Last year was three percent. So yeah. So that's how I get Dragon Ball for day, and that's how to get the um. This is just going over a little bit of the banners. Nothing like that long, but just. You know, simple little stuff I just wanted to mention, though. So, yeah, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Tonight, we will get the 40th anniversary info. We should get a little bit more info, like, you know, log bonus, typical redstone stuff, the purple stone you can buy, a whole bunch of freaking campaign stuff. So, yeah, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. We should get all that info tonight around, like, uh, let me check. I think when this clock hits, I want to say, like, hmm, um, it says US. Come on, come on. Just, oh, never mind. Clock's not even up here. So, yeah, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Peace!